John, uh, first of all, well done. Uh, a massive result today, 3-2 against promotion chase in Stockton Town. You must be overjoyed with that win. Yeah, it was. It's the first time that Tadcaster have achieved a performance against a top six side this season. And uh, we've saved it for a very entertaining game, very entertaining game. Um, first 10 minutes we settled down pretty well, scored a goal and then after that we gave two quick goals away um, and they was on top for the next 25 minutes but the last 15 to 20 minutes of the first half we came back in it, created endless chances, we got a goal mouth melee where we could have scored five in that, in that one particular move um, so it gave us a little bit of hope at half time that we said we've got to go back and play on the front foot again and that's what, exactly what we did in the second half we played on the front foot and scored two really good goals uh, defended really well as a team uh, not just as a back four we defended from 1 to 11 excellent um, they put a lot of pressure on us in Stockton because when we played them at their place I thought there was the best side we played this season and you know even at th this place here uh, I thought it was a very good football inside, um, but it was, a, it was a good result, a result that we needed. Yeah, just going back to the start, it was a bit of a chaotic opening, wasn't it? Obviously, we got to the perfect start, uh, taking the lead off just two minutes, but then they replied after four minutes. Mm. Yeah, we just got to stop being, once we've scored a goal, we'll look a little bit vulnerable. Uh, we've just talked about in the dressing room there that we score really good goals, but we concede really slack goals from set pieces where we're not picking people up, not marking people, um, but can't take it away from them. Um, as a 1 to 13 that was involved today, you know, they really put a shift in and did really well for the Tadcaster Albion Football Club. It shows what it means to them. Uh, Stockton went into the break 2-1 up. Um, there's a message at half-time, just stay in the game? Exactly, we said we didn't have to score in the first five minutes of the second half, you know, it was 45 minutes of it. Um, but we came out and, you know, we did well, did well and scored, you know, scored a great free kick and then Jack Carr's goal, you know, to win it was an absolute thunderbolt. Um, thoroughly deserved from Jack because I thought he had a good game. Uh, you actually shouted over to Fergie to go and take the free kick for the equaliser. A uh, bit of a bobble, but he struck it so sweetly nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. I got <laughs> they can assist for that one. <laughs> the dugout said so. Yeah. But you know, it's just one of those things. He's you know, he's done well, he's scored another double, um, and he's settling in well to the football club. Uh, I know you've just mentioned it, but we've got to talk more about the winning goal. Um, he has been somewhat of a revelation since arriving as uh, as Jack Carr and uh, once again today producing a real bit of magic to carry the ball from the halfway line and the finish to match was just sensational. Absolutely tremendous, tremendous and Jack. Um, I've known Jack since he's been a since he's been a kid. He, he grew up in the same village that I come from, and I've watched his I've watched him develop, and he's really developed into a, a decent footballer. Um, and we hope he can keep continue to do so for Tadcaster, because he's not just a good footballer. He's such a nice guy as well, and he's willing to listen and learn, which you know always helps. Uh, we had over half an hour to hang on in there, and. Uh credit to the defence and the midfield and, and the goalkeeper and everyone really putting a real shift in because they were putting a lot of pressure on them towards the end. Yeah there was but like I, again we've just spoken in the dressing room that you know the big house game um, Harry pulled off save after save after save but today you know he didn't really have to pull a lot of saves off but there was some good pressure from Stockton um, because they're a good side they're a very good side you know and we did really well, did really well defensively. All of us, you know, everybody, everybody, the wingers was getting back in, putting tackles in, the midfield were centre halves and the full backs, you know, but it was it was a good performance and it's pleasing as well. And I'm I'm so pleased for the supporters to be fair because we haven't been that great at home this season. Uh, and to put a performance in like that when there was a decent crowd here was very pleasing. Yeah, just touching on the fans, it was a great atmosphere when the when the third goal went in and at the end as well. Some uh, great Yeah, it was lovely, it was lovely to be honest because like I've just said, you know, in the sentence before, we haven't been great at home this season and it was nice to give the uh, Tadcaster followers something to cheer about. And just finally, John, how's, how's the throat? <laughs> It's, 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 all right. it's just my head here. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bit of a scar from a bit of an accident last night. But yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Well done, John. Thank you.